Welcome to the cache in .CMS 2.0 tutorial. In .CMS 2.0, we have a new cache implementation. We are now using Google's Guava tooling for our cache. What this allows us is to be able to select what regions we're going to be saving in memory and which ones we're going to be saving in disk. Uh, let me show you how it works. Once you're logged into that CMS, go to CMS Admin, CMS Maintenance, and click on the cache. And then you'll see here we have our cache stats. In this section here, you'll see we have the total memory available, which is how much memory we have given that CMS. We have memory allocated. This is how much memory Java is using. Uh, filled memory is how much memory we have we've filled already in with the cache and how much free memory we have. In this case, out of the 200 we have allocated, we're using 120 almost, and then we have 80 or so free. If I click now here on the Refresh Stats link, I'm going to get a list of all of the regions that we have defined for the cache. And then each of these will have different values. Let me show you what they mean. Uh, here we have Configured. Configured is the number of objects that we can store in memory for each of these regions. So the admin config pool here, we have it configured to hold up to 100 objects in memory. The category by key cache, we have up to 1,000. Then we have uh, in memory is how many objects we already have stored in memory. In this case, we have one object in memory here and let's say here we have 27. Then we have on disk. If we have uh, the on disk turn on for your region, then this will have a number. In this case, we have 66 objects, for instance. And if we have it off, then we won't have anything. By default, the on disk is turned off and you can turn it on for some of your regions. We recommend turning it on only for the regions that are that have objects that are really big that take a lot of space in memory so then you can overflow from memory to disk or if you're having a lot of evictions and you have you don't have enough memory to give it more memory here then you can also um, assign it on disk. Then the load is the uh, number of times that we do a get on the cache. So every time we try to load an object from the cache, we have, we increase this number here. Then the hit rate is how many times we've hit the, the cache and we've been able to get it from, the, from memory. And if we don't get it from memory, we would go to disk if we have the on disk turn on and then if it's not there we would then go to the to the database the average load time is the time that it's taking um, every time we do a get so every time we try to get an object this is the average time in milliseconds that it's taking to load it then the evictions here is how many objects have been evicted from your cache to be replaced by new ones. Our uh, the the cache implementation we're using uses LRU eviction policy. That means that it's um, evicting the least uh, recently used uh, objects. What that means is that anything that's been used the least will go and get replaced by a newer one whenever there's a need for more space. Uh, let me show you here if we have any that have evictions. In this case, we don't, but let me open one of our client once here so you can see better numbers. Let me open it bigger here so you can see. And let me look for evictions here. So as you can see here, we have velocity caches, 8,000 objects configured. It has already 8,000 objects in memory. Then we have 169 objects 169,000 objects on disk and we've had 111,000 evictions. So that means that the objects have been these objects have been ev evicted and then have been replaced by new ones, which in the velocity ca cache makes sense 
because it's, it gets pretty big and then it tries to, to evict pretty often. Other caches though, you can see they all have zero evictions, which is what we want to see. If we start seeing evictions on your regions other than your uh, velocity cache, then you either should up your configured number and allow more objects to be in memory, or if you don't have any more memory, then you should allow it to overflow to the disk. Once you have that, there's an extra button here that says calculate memory usage and click on refresh stats. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you a size of the cache and the average that each object or the average size for each object on, on the cache. This takes sometimes to load. So we don't load it by default and you shouldn't click on it and load it every time unless you want to see the numbers. So in this case, I'm running it here because it's my local environment and it only took a couple of seconds. So I have, um, let's see here, the contentlet cache, uh, the size is 306k and the average size for each object is 4.6k. If I go to velocity cache, you'll see how much bigger it is and how each of the objects is so much bigger also here. So this tells you why we want to make sure that we overflow that one to disk because we just have a much bigger, the object size is much bigger. So this is what you need to be monitoring when it comes to your cache, being able to then make a decision based on your evictions and your size on what you're going to overflow to disk on whether you need more memory or not. We also have the same function we had before uh, for being able to flush either all of the caches or just each of the regions separately. So if I go here and I flush see the content let cache you can see here it has uh, 66 in memory and 66 on disk if I flush that I'm gonna click on refresh again and you can see they're gone now so that's how uh, this works and, uh, and of course you can flush all of the caches the same way you used to do that before now let me show you how some of these values get configured I'm going to open here my terminal and I have opened the marketing config that properties file and on this file we have the variables let me go up here for our cache we have a default size which is a thousand and that's the number of objects that we're going to store by default on our default cache which we have here and why do we have a default cache? We have this region in case you have any uh, objects that don't have a region specified, then they all go into the default region. Then you have default disk is false. So that means that by default, we're not going to store anything on disk. And let's see what else is important here. Each of your regions here have a number. So here I have the admin config pool size, it's 100, and this is where I get this number. The same way for all of them. So this is where you would come here and up your number of number of objects that you can have in memory if you have more memory and you're having evictions. For more helpful videos, visit our resources section on the .cms website. From all of us at .cms, thanks for watching.